Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 6. Okay. Looks like there are some, uh, two-headed creatures here. Just like the two-headed, uh, alligators that we saw outside. It's so nice that it's playing the, uh, um, Britannia music. Come on, guys. Everyone get together. Let's see what these signs say. This way! This way! Well, you know what? Let's uh, start by... Where is Dispel Field? Oh, right there. Alright. I guess we'll uh, begin combat. Well, kill that giant scorpion. Come on, guys. You, n you can go through here and, and help. Or not. <sighs> Or not. Am I... Oh, I could go up another level. But I guess we'll be waiting until we're done here. Which could take a little while. It is, um... Not a fun place. Let me, uh, look for the actual map of this stupid place. Where are you? There we go. Guess we can break off combat. Figure out which way I want to actually go here. If it matters. It might not matter. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it really matters right now. So we'll just go this way since I'm on the side anyway. Uh, two magically locked doors, and I also see... Oh goodness, that's... that's a lot of fields. Not sure what these uh, exactly will do. This will just use them all. Pull the chains. <laughs> All right. Well, we got some rooms here uh, that are magically locked. So let's go ahead and uh, start over here. Unlock magic. You were right there. What? Thou dost see a cow. Can I move you? Can I? No, I can't move you. Oh. It's a hostile two-headed cow! Begin combat. Well, that, that sure didn't last long. Look, meat! Thanks for getting the meat, Iolo. Oh dear. Are you gonna come through? Well. I don't need any more experience. There you go, there you go, guys. Go ahead, take it out. There we go. Okay. Ha! Missed me. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get through there right now, though. Um, guess we'll go back this way and check out this uh, magically locked door here. Oh, look, another two-headed alligator. Well, guys, go ahead and kill it. Thank you. Alright, now... So I'm guessing that it's going to be some sort of combination of these, uh... levers here. I suppose I should break off combat. Ah, that did it. I'm not sure what just happened. Well, let's begin combat again. Why 
Why were you all the way down there, Lightning? Come on, guys. Attack the Hydra. Thank you. There's a secret door here and a ladder, but uh, I suspect... Seriously? There we go. A secret door! Oh my god! Wow, you really do look crazy right there, buddy. It's got a guillotine, a log saw, lots of two-headed creature or beheaded creatures, partial creep. What? Seriously? There are mimics in this game? I knew there were mimics in other games, but I didn't think there were mimics in this game. All right, you know what? Let's let's uh, get up to something physical. How about that? Oh, maybe I've. Uh... Oh, I killed it. That would be a thing that happened. Okay. I guess we can forego battle then. And might be a good idea to cast some uh, spell magic on myself. Take care of that poison, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get everyone in here, come on. Let's close that door. Where's my unlock magic? There you are. And I find a cleaver in the ch locked ma magically locked treasure chest. That's wrong on multiple levels. Hi, guys. That's... Just... Oh. Well. It's rather amusing where you are right there, Sherry. There we go. Well, we can get, get you some more experience there, Sherry. <laughs> All right, let's talk with this crazy guy. Actually, let me see if I can. There we go. Let's pull that chain. All right. Not sure what that did. You see a white-haired mage in flowing robes with a mad gleam in his eye. So, Avatar, you disturb the musings of the mad mage Sutek. What wisdom doth, dost thou seek? Um, I don't seek any wisdom from you, because I'm pretty sure I will not get any. But what is your name again? The name Sutek strikes fear in the hearts of mere mortals. Everyone knows the name of Sutek the Mad. Mad, you say? Yes, Sutek is mad. They say there is a fine line between genius and madness. Well, Sutek hops up and down on that line, cursing the fools that surround him. Y you don't, you don't say. You don't say. By the way, you know you might want to think about not using quite so much gel in your hair. It doesn't seem to be doing much for you. Sutek the Mad is the greatest mage the land has ever known. Uh, I think that Avatar is the greatest mage. The land has ever known. So you sit down, sir. Even the Avatar acknowledges the power and wisdom of Sutek. No, I don't. Don't you, milady? Oh, fine, yes. Good. Uh, Balloon. Balloonist? Yes, Sutek remembers him. He died in Sutek's catacombs, like most of the others who have ever worked for Sutek. Dost thou seek employment with Sutek the Mad? No. No?! What sort of fool passes up the opportunity to work for the greatest genius of this age? Such fools must die! But Sutek is mad, and so he will grant you one last nugget of wisdom before thy death. What wouldst thou like to know? Catacombs. 
Helps if I spell it right. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter, but whatever. Sudek hired many brilliant engineers to build the catacombs that lie beneath his castle. The catacombs are filled with the bones of those engineers. That's just disturbing. You have, like, delusions of being a pharaoh or something. Although, actually, the pharaohs didn't usually do that. The push me pull you knows where all such bones can be found. Thy question is answered. Now flee before the awesome wrath of the mad mage Sutek. Get out! Flee before the awesome wrath of the mad mage Sutek. Oh, I wanted to ask him about push me pull you. Oh, you are attacking me! Whoa, oh, oh, oh. bad move, sir. Oh, look! Well, actually, it seems like you guys have... ...stopped attacking. None, no one else is attacking him. Well, whatever. I guess I made a mistake by telling him that I didn't want to work for him. Although, somehow, I think he might have done the same thing if he had, uh... ...if I had said yes. Just something to consider. Alright, let's take a look at our map. Okay. He does have some rather nice uh, um, looking dungeons here, though. I, 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 will, I will admit that. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Go up this way to start with. There's an electric field. Wow, silver serpent venom? Sentry? Go ahead and get that. I'm not sure if it'll be useful for anything, but get it anyway. All right, let's see what this one do does. That's still in effect. Oh, hello, Silver Serpent. Wait, wait, I see a path to you. Hello. Go ahead and kill it, everyone. Someone get the experience. I don't really need him right now. There we go. Nice moves. Alright, that's still there. Ah, another one. We will have to play with him. You hear something to the north, you say. Could it be another silver serpent? It could indeed. Go ahead and kill it, everyone. Oh, s oh right. Shemina's poisoned. Where are your... There we go. Much better, Shimino. Oh, now Dupre is poisoned. Those things can do a lot of damage. I am actually kind of impressed. We have another one? Should have another one. There we go. Anyone else poisoned? Nah. Good times. That's... See, you hear something to the southwest. Could it be another... No, it's not... It didn't respawn there. Okay, so... How about... That one. Does that remove anything? No, nothing there. Anything over here? Ah, there we go. Let's go down here. I have no idea what the appropriate path is, but it's apparently not that one. Okay. So... Let's leave that up. How about you? 
Nope. I can go kill. Ooh, hello. All right. I guess we'll start it. We'll play with the silver serpent as well. I like how attacking the tail causes the, uh... <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Sherry. Come on, guys. Do some damage to it. There we go. Where are you going, Silver Serpent? <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Well, there we go. Yeah, we're coming along now. Um, that one is still up. Alright, which one was, uh... Ah! Oh, hello. I see you right there. That's just mean game. Okay. Oh my god. It's a fabulous horse. With two heads. Where does it poop from? You see a bizarre two-headed beast. Both heads take turns speaking to you. Stand over here! Stand over there! Come here, our puzzle anywhere! Uh, what's your name? Is that a lie or is it true? Could we be more confused than you? Uh, actually, yeah, see. Blame it on my wireless keyboard. Should I answer you today? If I ask tomorrow, I would say that my partner and I are push me pull you. And speaking in riddles is what we do. You should really get together with Smith. I, I think you three would have a wonderful time. But which is pull you and which is push me? If you'd asked yesterday, I'd have told thee. Well, what's your job? If my partner said you should go west, that he would be he would be a lying pest. If my partner said you should go east, then he would be a lying beast. Okay, so this is a classic one of the uh, one is lying, one is telling the truth thing. One always lies, one always tells the truth or something like that. If my partner said, go east, to you, then he'd have said that which is true. If my partner said to you, go west, then his advice would be the best. Ah, I actually do think it is supposed to be east, but uh, let's, uh, let's ask about balloon. No. Body? I'll always tell the truth to thee. That's because I am the push me. My partner lies, and that is true. It is because he's the pull you. If you asked my partner, then forsooth, he'd say the pull you always speaks truth. If you asked my partner, thinking him wise, He'd tell you the push me always lies. Uh, uh, I don't really have time for you. Well, I'm trying to um, I'm just looking at the map real quick. Um, 
And I think you're supposed to be able to ask him which way he you want to go, but I'm not sure... Um... If you asked my partner which was best, he'd say, East lie beasts, so go wet, go quest west. And west? If you asked my partner which was best, he'd say, East lies lie beasts, so quest west. Yeah, so I think we are supposed to go east. Alright. So soon to leave? You'd leave so soon? Take three blind mice, a dish and spoon. And if, perhaps, you'd solved our riddle, then go dance with the cat and fiddle. Both heads smile innocently at you. Dupre is staring at them, his jaw hanging wide open. Ilo says, That's got to be the most baffling thing I've ever heard! Indeed. Well... Let's save the game. In case I'm wrong. Aw, oh, can't use the guillotine. Well, let's see which way we go. Ah, oh, when I lose my light. Curses. Okay. Well, found another ladder. I am not sure where exactly we want to go in this area, but um, pretty sure we're in the right area at least. So we're looking for the body of the balloonist somewhere down here, and I don't think it's. Not sure what level it's on actually. Maybe not this level? I don't know. I think you're hearing things, Shimino. You don't need to tell me this. Wait! I see rats! Go kill the rats, everyone. Thank you. I said break off combat. Aha! Dagger, torch, and balloon plans! Alright, we are we were in the right place. Shimino, can you pick those up? Heavy is too... the total is too heavy. Iolo. There we go. Plans for the construction of a hot air balloon. First, you must have a wicker balloon basket made, large enough to carry several passengers. Perhaps even eight? Whoa! Then you'll need a big iron cauldron to hold a fire to generate the hot air. Next, you must have a huge bag sewn out of silk to hold the hot air in. Lastly, get enough rope to tie the balloon securely to the basket. Once you've gathered all of these together, use these plans to assemble them. When flying your balloon, you'll find that a ship's anchor makes the best ballast and is also useful for stopping the balloon where you and when you wish. So, I'm going to need to uh, get a uh, an anchor as well. And some other various items. Well, done with this episode, so I think I'll uh, go ahead and get out and head back to Britain on my ship off-screen. So, we'll see you in the next episode.